In the last video, we set the contents of a side to 340 pixels. And now we're ready to start floating the article element and the aside element. And I'm going to have them both floating left. And then I'll need to clear the float before the footer. So there's many different ways to uh, clear floats. I'm going to use the way that is specified in our lecture notes. So let's set up those classes first. So we're going to be floating things left. And going into brackets, I am going to go to the bottom and I'm going to set the classes. So one class is called float left and all it's going to do, oops, is set the float to left. And then I'm going to set clear fix and this is that another class called clear fix and this is going to use that clear fix hack. Remember they're quite ugly and until we can do the display flow root this is what we have to do. Display flow root only works on Chrome and Chrome and Firefox at this time doesn't work on any mobile browsers except for Chrome on Android. So we're going to work with something that displays everywhere, including Safari, Internet Explorer, Edge. So the fix here is we're going to we're going to be wrap creating a wrapper around the floated elements and. At, so, so we're after that new div that we're going to create to wrap those floated elements. So after, this is a pseudo element, what we're going to do is we're going to put in some dummy content, which isn't going to have anything in it. So just quote, quote. We are going to set the display to block, so a, a block element, act like a display as if you're a block element, and we're going to clear both floats, so that takes care of all cases of floats. So that's what we have for our clear fix. So these are just the classes that I'm defining. We have not actually put them inside the code for the HTML. We also want to do some other things first. On our article, we want the width to default to 960. But in the case that an article is floated left, we want its width to be 600. So we're going to declare an article whose class is float left. We want it to be the width to be 600 pixels, and we want its margin right to be 20 pixels. And just so we can see it, I am going to set an outline. This is an outline does not add to the width of the box and we, we can remove it later, but just for making it easy for us to troubleshoot to see where the box is, I'm going to set the outline to be a one pixel sol solid red line. So 
this is a rule. We haven't actually applied the rule anywhere. For the aside, we're good. We just want it to float to the left. So I'm going to save my change here. And now let's go over to index.html. So first, I'm going to have two floated elements. I want article to float left, and I want a side to float left. And I need to contain these floated elements, wrap them up in another container. So I'm going to create a new div. Let's do it this way. Let's do it the long way. A new div whose class is going to be called clearfix. And so after this div, it's going to apply that rule that we made. So we're going to go to the end right before footer because we want to clear those floats right before the footer. So after the closing tag of the aside, I'm going to close that div. And then I might want to make a little comment there that it's the clear fix wrapper. So I just added a little comment so I know when I'm going through here, where's that div? What does it belong to? There you go. Okay, so this was just the div that's containing the article, the elements that we're going to float. So we now have a, for article, we're going to set a class to be, the class name to be float left. And for the aside, we want that to be float left and save it. All right, so now that we've added the rules and updated the markup, and only on index.html, not on WebD yet, let's take a look and see what happened. So I'm going to go over to my Chrome window and I'm going to refresh. And here you can see that here's my outline on article. That, so I can see there's, there's the gap and here is my aside on the right side. And it runs all the way down to the end. It's not breaking any boxes and the footer is on the bottom. Now on the page that I didn't do any markup on, that does have an aside, you can see that the rules applying, rules did not apply. So now I have to go back and fix that on webd.html. So I'm going to be doing the same thing here. I already have those rules defined. So I'm going to set a new div whose class equals clear fix. I'm going to go to the bottom so before I forget, right before the footer, the right where I want to clear the floats, and I'm going to close that div and make that comment so that I know that oops, that it is for the clear fix. Clear fix hack. And then I'm going to add article to class float left so that it's 300, 600 pixels wide. And because this has an aside, I want to set the aside to class equals float left. 
save my changes, go to Chrome, and I'm going to refresh the WebD page, and you can see here's the red outline, so that it made, it made it stand out so I could see what was happening. But I don't really want it in my final version, so I'm going to go back into Actually, I will, I will fix that up in the next video where we'll clean up some of the, we'll do some styling changes, but as for project, it doesn't have an aside, so we're not going to do anything there. Okay, so in the next video, we are going to finish things up and make things look better. And doesn't it look so much better than this? I think so. Okay, next video.